I just picked up the latest edition of The Delineator, and Miss Mabel Boardman has something to tell us about the upcoming election. Let's go and listen to what Mabel has to say. There are a lot of people choosing not to vote because they're dismayed over and they feel that we are not going to have fair elections anymore. But Mabel T. Boardman would disagree with you. Now, Mabel was the commissioner of the District of Columbia and she also helped in the development of the Red Cross and she has something to say to us about the importance of voting no matter what. Let's listen to Mabel and what she has to tell us. Whether advocates of women's suffrage or not, women have had the responsibility of the vote placed upon them and therefore it becomes the duty of every American woman who considers herself a good citizen to fulfill that duty and cast her vote in all local, state, and national elections. And Mabel goes on to say that no such patriotic duty, whether it is liked or not, should be shirked by women. If those of good character, of intelligence, and true interest in their country's welfare do not vote, the ballot of the unfit and ignorant women will do much harm, and the fault will be with those others who fail to do their duty. The administration of government is what the voters make it. A great number of the two million women who read this magazine have taken no part in the struggle for suffrage. Some may have been opposed to the 19th Amendment of the Constitution. Others may have been indifferent and given no thought to the issue. But a new day has come, and with it, your direct relation to good government. You cannot escape it. It is as much your duty as the right upbringing of your children, if you have children. It has a direct bearing upon the fate of your children. The question facing women in the future is not how you vote, but whether you vote. It is your business to see that your neighbor participates in the government as much as it is to know that he pays his taxes or obeys the laws under which we live. The man or woman who fails to pay income tax is fined. The man or woman who fails to pay state tax is punished. Their property is sold, and yet many of the most intelligent, law-abiding citizens in this country escape the vital thing in government, which is the selection of the administrators of its laws and business. Some men neglect the vote to evade jury duty or some other selfish purpose. Corruption enters into machines and undesirable bosses sometimes hold rule because many of the best citizens of the country fail to realize the duty to vote. The life of the Republic will be secure if the conscientious, thinking women of the land go to the polls. Candidates and parties should be studied and voted for not from a limited, narrow point of view, not because they have approved or disapproved of this or that single measure, but as to whether or not they can be trusted to carry on our government on the highest principles with the truest comprehension of what con constitutes a nation's greatness with practical common sense and business-like ability. Thank you, Ms. Boardman, for your wonderful insights and your encouragement to get us women out to go and vote.